Hey, so what are negative keywords in Amazon PPC and how you can use them in order to have better results with your Amazon PPC? We're going to share it in this video. And today with me, Chris and Adrian from Edfixer, Amazon PPC automation software and Mvisible, which is an agency for Amazon sellers that helps with different tasks. We're going to have the links to all their stuff in the description. So guys, negative keywords like what are they, these things like on Amazon and how to work with them to get good results with Amazon PPC? It would be cool if you share, please. Thank you. First of all, thank you for having us on Pleasure to meet you. My name is Christo. I'm co-founder of Fatfixer and uh, Invisible. This is my colleague, Adrian. Hello, everyone. Nice to meet you. Thank you for having us, Vova. And yeah, let's dive in. So uh, first up, I think we need to tell the difference between a keyword and search term. So keyword is what you have in the campaigns in the ad groups and search term is what people find you on so we dived into this example so i'm going to use it the same so if you have a water bottle in a, let's say broad or phrase people uh, can find you on uh, different keywords that you actually put in so it can be uh, other words before in the middle or after of your keyword mm -hmm. uh, that's uh, if it isn't on exact if it's exact so the search term will be exactly as your keyword. But if, you're, but if you're using broad and phrase, they will find you on uh, different things. And uh, that's very uh, important to know before diving into the negative keywords. Because uh, negative keywords are most of the times, you know, you have uh, campaigns that you're running to main, mainly discover new search terms. And uh, you have to see which ones are working and which ones are not working uh, with uh, your product. So if you have a water bottle as your keyword, you let's say you would have water bottle 500 milliliters, let's say, but your product is one liter. Mm -hmm. So uh, you mm -hmm. don't want to have that search term for this keyword. And uh, that's when you put it in a negative. So you put it in, a, you can put it in negative exact, negative broad, negative phrase, but uh, it's best to use it as negative exact, you know, when uh, you have tested all of the different variations of search terms that you could have for one keyword, and you put each of these uh, search terms into negative exact. That way you've kind of optimized uh, your main keyword in order for it to have better ACOS and better conversion rates. That's uh, what we use. We don't uh, recommend using broad and phrase negative exact, uh, negative uh, keywords because you're gonna miss out on a lot of possibilities, you know, do that only if you are really sure in uh, your PPC and uh, you have done it for a while. So you kind of got the hang on it. But uh, mainly it's running broad in phrase, finding search terms for that uh, keyword. And after that, put every search term that isn't working as in exact uh, negative keyword. Also, uh, what uh, a question might arise, like, like what are the criteria for a search term to be moved up as a negative keyword? It really depends on the category, on the product, but uh, most of the times, if you have uh, 15, 20 clicks with uh, no sales, you can move that as a negative keyword. That is, if it's a more long tail uh, search term and not like main for your category. So if you have uh, a search term that has high uh, search volume, it's uh, relevant to your category. It's pretty relevant to your product. Uh, you might have that uh, on uh, high SUS. Uh, because it's gonna help you rank organically later on but for the ones that aren't really exactly for your product you know they're more broad you need to filter filter them out mm -hmm. so when you're looking to optimize your broad and phrase keywords go first into the search terms remove all the search terms that uh, put them in uh, neg as negative exact uh, keyword and after that you know play with the bit of the main keyword that's the the approach that we have to it we've also heard of a tactic let me know what you think, like before even turning on Amazon PPC, right? And let's say we have a water bottle and we do see in our keyword research priorly, yeah, that let's say we have one liter water bottle and we do in our keyword research find that there is water bottle 500 milliliter or, you know, kind of keywords that maybe will pop in our PPC and we before even turning it on, we can add them as negatives before even working with PPC based on our keyword research. Uh, what do you think of that? Is this, does it make sense or do you do that? Or and That's why I said, you know, you need to uh, have some kind of experience with your product because mm. uh, if you leave it on, uh, let's say broad or even uh, in phrase, it might pop up that search term. 
and you have uh, competitive pricing. So you have uh, one liter and uh, people search for 500 milliliters and your is one liter and it's basically, you know, a little bit more expensive for even the same price. You can uh, show up on there and it's going to be really good for you because the, the, then you can have a lot of conversion rate on that keyword. So it's mainly A-B testing, you know, trying out different stuff. That's why a lot of people, including us, recommend running it for a few days before making deci decisions. But, you know, for the ones that you're sure uh, are not going to be relevant to you, so you can sure do that. You can uh, add them as negative even from the start. Yeah, I understand. Pretty awesome. So we're going to have uh, the link to AdFixer, which is Amazon PPC automation software here by the guys in the description with the best offer. And also to Invisible, which is their agency, we're going to have a link and you can contact them, get a free call, kind of see how they can help you. Anything else, guys, about negative keywords that we didn't cover? Maybe yeah, anything that comes to mind that is connected to negative keywords for Amazon PPC? Yeah, right? for uh, one more thing, like uh, when you move keywords, like for example, when you find the right keyword in one campaign, the right search term, uh, put the exact search term in another campaign as a exact. And on the first campaign, put it as a negative. It's an important thing because they are not going to clash. And you will do more research on the, like, for example, for the next search term. So you're saying they're not going to clash. What do you mean by clash? You mean like, can you explain exactly in this case yes. what it would mean? In this case, it's like you have two campaigns. You're looking for a search term which is going to work for you. For example, one is, uh, one is going to work. The another one is not going to work for you. Like the search term it has... Uh, high echoes and, and has uh, high clicks, but no sales. You have mm -hmm. to put it as, as a negative. But when you have the winning search term, put it in another campaign because it's going to take a budget from this uh, this research campaign. Mm -hmm. If you get me, you're going to bid in the same keyword. It, it, mm -hmm. It's no sense. You should uh, look for another opportunity for sales and this way you're uh, going to struggle. Like your mm -hmm. PPC is not going to run perfectly. You're not going to optimize it, optimize it perfectly. So you have to put it in the first cup. Then when you find the uh, winning keyword, you can have to put it as a negative and exact and look for other keywords and put on the next uh, campaign uh, the exact search term. We do it this in AdFixer, so mm -hmm. check it out. Okay, pretty cool. Again, we're going to have all the links in the description. Thank you guys for being guests today and uh, see you again. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And, and bye, bye everyone. Thank you.